Today we're looking at wood filler and we're specifically looking at what is the best wood filler if you want to stain it after you after you put it on. As an example of what you might want to use a wood filler for, you see we have a knot here and there's a crack in that knot and that crack actually goes very very deep and it's on a dark spot so if we put wood filler on top of that which would fill the void uh, and then sand it uh, we would then want to color it so that you don't see this streak in that knot that would stand out very much and so we need a stainable wood filler. Uh, this is one. Uh, this is an oil-based stainable wood filler made by DAP. It's very popular, uh, very available everywhere. As a matter of fact, we'll put a link to it in the show notes if you're interested. This is called plastic wood and it has, uh, the main chemical is acetone, which as you know, uh, does not smell real good and you probably wouldn't want to be around large quantities of acetone for any period of time. But for small projects, it's, it's not a problem. And then it has wood fibers actually in uh, this acetone base. And so the wood fibers make it possible uh, readily for this to readily take stain and absorb the color and actually come out very similar to the way natural wood would come out. Uh, now, this is oil-based. You can also get a water-based product. As a matter of fact, DAP makes a water-based, uh, very similar product that's water-based. We'll put a link for that in here, too. Uh, and the water base has some advantages. One is you don't have to smell that acetone. Uh, and cleanup is a little bit simpler, although, frankly, you'll be using a lot, probably a putty knife for this. So clean up is a matter of wiping it off of the putty knife, so that's not a big deal. Uh, the, uh, the, the water base dries a lot quicker, and so you can go to sanding and staining a lot quicker with the water base than you can with this one, with this oil-based one. However, the oil-based one uh, takes the color more evenly and better than the water-based one. So if you're in a hurry, you probably want the water-based one, but my choice is this oil-based one. Uh, so you would put it on and let it dry and then uh, add the color to it, the stain to it, and then finally sand it. Uh, I learn a lot by going to my go-to books when I have questions about something like this uh, wood filler or other things that have to do with finishing. Uh, this is a great book by Bob Flexner, if you're interested in something on your bookshelf. It's, it's a good reference book, although there's interesting stuff in it just to, just to read. And another one here is Great Wood Finishes by Jeff Jewett. Uh, both of these are excellent, um, excellent references that uh, you might want to consider for your, wood, uh, for your uh, bookshelf. So let's no, go now and take a look at an actual project where we used a wood filler like this to fill a void and then we stained over it. And uh, I think you'll be impressed with the results. I'm sitting here at this farmhouse table that we made uh, recently. And you'll notice that it's made out of uh, inexpensive softwood. And then it's stained with this uh, nice gray blue stain uh, that blends fairly well with the color of the natural wood underneath. Uh, and this softwood naturally has knots in it. You can see here some small knots like this, uh, but this knot over here, the knot fell out. And so we had a hole that went all the way through this particular plank. And so we had to figure out, uh, this is the table we eat on, and so obviously we need a level surface on the top, and we had to figure out what to do about that. And what we did about that was a stainable wood filler like we've been talking about in this video. And so we simply packed uh, several layers of a wood filler in here, a stainable wood filler in here, and let it dry. And then we sanded it off. This is, of course, before we had finished any of the surface of this farmhouse table. And then once we got it smooth, then when we applied the stain to the table surface, 
we applied it to that patch as well. And we had to fiddle a little bit with adding a little bit extra stain to get the color just right, but really it was pretty simple. And as you can see, it turned out just great. So you would choose oil base. If you're, uh, if you're picky about the color, uh, you might choose water base if the smell is of interest to you or you're in a big hurry and you need to have it dry quickly. So we hope you enjoyed the content here and if you did, please hit the like button and go ahead and hit subscribe so that we can contact you with uh, information about future videos.